to whether you like what you're doing or hindi mo gusto yung ginagawa mo. Talagang darating ka sa point na burn out ka, mapapagod ka. And it's very important to take a breather, to stop for a while. Hindi na may ibig sabihin na nag-slow down ka. But it's very important. Kasi ang pinag-uusapan naman natin dito is yung long-term consistency, di ba? How can you do this for a very long time? Hindi naman kapag ibig sabihin tumigil ka, ay sabihin na futol na yung consistency mo. But the, the, the rest itself, yung um, pagtigil mo ng panandalian, is actually a um, necessary thing to do dun sa ginagawa mo. So that you can go further. Parang um, every once in a while, kotse, bag maubos yung gasolina, kapagas ka muna, di ba? Hindi, hindi ka naman makakabiyahe ng isang straight. So it's just like that sa buhay. Every once in a while, you stop over. Di ba? Pag maubiyahe tayo malayo. Madalas, tatlo, apat na beses ka nags stop over before ka dumating doon sa pupuntahan. Pero sa, sa journey natin, you'll take stopovers every now and then. And okay lang yun. Wala namang problema doon. Yung iba kasi, they don't wanna stop. Because they think the fastest way to get to, to where they want to be is to do it continuously, na literal, na walang tigil, tuloy-tuloy. Ay nabigyan ng time sa rinil na to recover, to think. Pero for me kasi, it's when you slow things down. Like, when you really slow things down, for me, that is the fastest way. Kasi kahit anong bilis mo, kahit anong takbo mo, kahit anong todo mo, pag na-burn out ka or napagod ka at nagsawa ka na sa ginagawa mo, isang hintuan lang yung mangyayari sa'yo. But definitely, yung isang hinto na yun could end everything that you've been doing. Not unlike, you stop every once in a while. After that, you have this ano yung panibagong energy na naman to continue. Tapos you stop again. Para ka na nag -re recharge And then you'll resume to whatever that it is that you're doing. So for me, mahalaga mahalaga yan. Kasi it also shows the character na meron ka. Of course, the patience na meron ka. Makikita doon how patient you are sa ginagawa mo. And you know that whatever happens in the journey, mo, you'll get there. But you won't be able And one of the most important things for me is you're able to enjoy. Lagi ko to siya sabi sa lahat na motivational speech or talk ko na ginagawa. Yung word na enjoy, yung word na happiness. Lagi ko to siya sabi kasi without enjoying what you're doing, without happiness sa ginagawa mo, I don't think tatagal ka. I mean, pwede ka to magal pero it's like you're already dead. Parang wala ka ng wala ka ng Parang wala ka na dito. What's the essence of doing that kung hindi mo na i-enjoy yung ginagawa mo? But again, iba-iba tayo ng sitwasyon. Iba -iba. I mean, when other people hear this advice, mamasamain nila eh. Diba? Isipin nila, ay kasi ito lang binigay sa amin choices. Well, of course, sabi natin to totoo yun. Pero again, it's about the perspective. Kung paano mo tignan kasi yung bagay-bagay. It's how you look at life. And uh, if you see yourself complaining most of the time, ang hirap makarating doon sa pupunta mo. Pero pag nakikita mo yung sarili mo na alam mo yun, tuloy lang. And uh, unti-unti na lelesen yung pag-complain. Ang sarap-sarap bumiyahe. Ang sarap-sarap daanan yung mga pagsubok. Kasi alam mo, parte lang yun. And hindi ka sa stop doon. Para mangyari yun every time, every once in a while. Take a breather. Top. Diba? Relax ka muna. Mag-enjoy ka. Because don't ever forget that you're a human being. Don't ever forget that. Hindi ka naman robot eh. Tao ka. You are meant to be happy. Thank you.